Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we are playing as Romania. But let's begin with the kingdom situation. Well, the kingdom of Romania enjoyed the status of being one of the victors, as victor was, victory was bittersweet. The territories of Transylvania are still under Hungarian occupation, and the dream of a truly greater Romania has yet to be realized. Despite Romania's hatred towards our Hungarian oppressors, heavy German influence and the dictatorship's compliance has prevented many major conflicts between the two. Internally, the nation was being held together by Marshal Ion Antonescu, and Romania remained stable under his iron fist. However, the Marshal's passing in 1951 proved to be the last straw. With the rapidly worsening political scene, Deputy Prime Minister Mihai Antonescu became Romania's new dictator. His new government immediately set out to both appease and combat Germany's influence in the country by granting exiled Iron Guard politicians amnesty and releasing imprisoned figures of the moderate wing. These political maneuvers were justified with the goal of allowing both opposing factions to combat each other, which would weaken them both and give the ruling government leverage over the two. Although these new tactics were only recently implemented and their results might improve the nation's stability or have the complete opposite effects, but only time will tell. Turbulent times for Romania and Petesti Mausoleum. In Ion Antonescu is the birthplace of Petesti. A mausoleum has been constructed in the former dictator's honor. In the completion ceremony, many ministers, politicians, and generals gathered to pay their respect. Most importantly, Prime Minister Mihai Antonescu, leader of the Iron Guard Horia Sima, and King Michael all appeared in the same venue. Despite the Iron Guard's shaky history of the Marshal Ion Antonescu, Horia Sima led his most loyal legionnaires to pay their respect. The king was also obligated to appear at the ceremony, since it was his duty to act as a national figurehead. The three did not speak to each other throughout the event, and the completed or the completion ceremony did finish without commotion. Soon after, the mausoleum was open for the public, and three returned to their daily routines. A moment of silence, and this one auto completed itself, remembering the dictator. After some time, the government was fully realized, uh, has fully realized that the marshal Ion Antonio School is dead. The construction of his mausoleum is completed, and it's our government's obligation to say a final farewell to the dictator. So, the Romanian power struggles has started. The fight for the control of Romania has been is between three competing factions: the Iron Guard, moderates, and the government. The Legion of the Arc Angel. Uh, Michael is an ultra-nationalist extreme organization that is determined to transform Romania into an orthodox legionary state. Their methods of spreading influence is consistent of death squad tactics, appealing to young educated nationals and German-style tactics. The monarchist movement, also known as moderates, uh, is a coalition of moderate elements of Romanian Democrats, royalists, and members that are generally against political extremism. The legionary Senate reopened in Iasi. The long-disbanded legionary Senate has been reformed by Horia Sima, functioning as an advisory board of legion. The Legionary Senate is an unelected body of so-called senators appointed by the leader himself. Becoming a Legionary Senator is what most Legionnaires aspire to achieve, and the Senate will serve as an administrative center of the Iron Guard, entrenching the Legionnaire status in the region. Watch him carefully. And Odessa, the model city. One of the fairly uh, moderate mayor that had been troubled relationship with Ion Antonescu. Odessa has been transformed into a moderate model city of Transnistria. Gamma Pantea formed many services in the city since Odessa's liberation, with one of his most notable acts being the expansion of Odessa University and the expansion of free trade economic zones. This model city has expanded its influence to the surrounding region, popularizing the male's modern ideals, the jewel Transnistria. Cool. University of Bucharest, Monarchist Rally. Responding to the recent opening of the Petesi Mausoleum, a monarchist student organization at the University of Bucharest has organized a rally, hoping to celebrate the monarchy's great achievements. This rally was approved and endorsed by the local government. Since this act of simple patriotism is viewed as beneficial for the ruling regime initially, the rally went, in, went as intended until the students' chance slowly shifted towards uh, the, the denouement or, of barbarism, an indirect attack towards the Iron Guard. The Bucharest police reports that the situation is well within control and the crowds are already dispersing. Nothing out of the norm, and clashes in Bucharest as the rally ended and the people returned home. A group of legionnaires formed by the opposing students and entered the area, and having just identified the attending uh, individuals, proceeded to brutalize them, injuring dozens and kicking off violent reprisals. The same violent situation deteriorated as fights have broken out across the capital. Police was searched thin and was pinned to defend key government locations instead of responding to the acts of violence. Shots were fired by the legionnaires as both the locals. Armed death squads received permission from Yasi to engage, respond eventually. So the military police eventually? Okay, why not? Day of the Unification of the Principalities. Celebrated every 24th of January, this holiday commemorates the unification of the Romanian Principalities under Prince Alexandru Ion Scuza. Which is one of the first steps towards a united or unified Romanian state, this holiday is of high importance in the, uh, to Romanian national pride. Nihil sin dio. Monarchists demand justice. Due to our government's slow response, many were injured from the fights at Bucharest, despite the period of brief chaos. A university student named Oreras Niascu was challenged by a legionary mob. 
Despite orders that have banned public gatherings, many were outraged by this news, with many taken to the street and calling for justice. Meanwhile, Horia Sima, the legionary senators condemned these demonstrations, calling for them degenerative and a great threat to national security. In a recent declaration by the Iron Guard leadership, they called for swift actions by the government against these demonstrations. Oh dear. Term turmoil in Romania. Without Antonis school, the period of instability is returned for Romania. Report on monarchist activity. A former report on monarchist activity shall be beneficial for ensuring the regime's stability. And legionary activity. A former report on the guardist activity shall be beneficial for ensuring the regime's stability and security. Monarchist movement. The monarchist movement, referred to as many by the moderates, is not officially sanctioned and endorsed by the king. However, as the nation's figure, the moderates have chosen King Michael as a spiritual leader of the movement. Many members of the military and the local governments are associated with the movement, especially the influential region of Odessa and the governor of Bessarabia, staunchly against the radical Iron Guard. Valuable information. Romania's Great Game. It is on now. The power struggle for Romania's future started, and the Great Game shall be determined the victor once and, of course, for all. The Legion of the Archangel Michael, commonly known as the Iron Guard, is headed by Horia Sima, a former exile under the reign of Ion Antonescu, but recently invited back to Romania by the regime is a strong organization. The Iron Guard is mainly consisted of intellectuals and university students advocating for a strong Orthodox tradition in Romania. These legionnaires have established a stronghold in Moldova, looking for aggressive outward expansion towards all parts of Romania. Valuable information. Well, I'll see. Mechanical computing. Cool. Oh, it might just be me, but it's... it's is Hoi 4 running slower than normal? Let me know in the comments. Like, I, It seems like it's running sl slower than it really should. At least from what I've tried out. But like, let me know if it's any slower for you as well. Just because sometimes it feels quite slow. Which does suck. Uh, you know what? I don't want to lose any supply here. Of course, we're using the no step back as well. But of course, that doesn't right. It's compatible with it, but still. Alright, you guys are training, definitely. Commander? Uh, Norwegian Thaw. Why is it not looking too good? Wow. Especially the German one. Holy crap, that's a lot of attrition. Anything here? Don't see any decisions. Anything here. Don't influence anything here. Yeah, it just seems really laggy. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my computer, but... It's just very laggy. And I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. You know, at the time of this recording, I may or may not have spilled stuff on myself. Well, you know what? That's okay. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. We need more supplies, god dang it. Um, anything else we can do here? Oh, that's our, our figurehead. Huh. Very cool. And close in. Um, let's research speed. More construction speed. 15% is not bad. We're already on early mobilization. Wow. Romanian power struggles. For better or for worse, the power struggle for Romania has truly begun. Mahai Antonescu's plans of pitting the factions against one another must be enacted swiftly. For the regime's political stability, we must ally with one of the factions to discredit the opposition and then discard them once the regime is secured. So I can deal with the Iron Guard. A deal with the Legion. The king and his supporters have crossed the line. Their calls for reforms are unacceptable, and the government must ally with the Iron Guard to destroy the royalist faction. Infiltrate the palace. Royal Guardsmen, loyal to Rakasha, infiltrate the royal palace, providing us viable information on political enemies. Legionary expansion. The Iron Guard must rapidly expand and combat royalist influence. Apologize if, uh,. We're not going the way you guys want. I mean, some of y'all will be happy with this, some of y'all won't be, but we'll do the best we can. Anything here we really care about? Yeah, that was good. Oh, adaptable. Oh, yes, please. Not bad. Intimidating the king. So far, we have successfully infiltrated the royal palace. With the king surrounded by our men, it's time to send him a clear message. Which sounds like a pretty good thing to me. Legionnaire recruitment propaganda. Ooh. That's not bad. Arms for legionnaires. If a civil war happens, then the legions have more equipment. How can we tell... Um, well, that's our figurehead right here. But... What support is like. Governor's compact. Moderate governor's lord of the king of Santa Pax, wearing the loyalty to the king of promising to stand against the tide of radicals, or radicalism in Romania. These politicians are opposing your decision to align with the Iron Guard, making them dangerous enemies of the state. There's a lot of oil here. Norwegian Revolution. Okay, then not bad. <clears throat> Intimidate the king. Tighten the laws. Iron Guard stability. We get 10% more political power. I do like that one quite a bit. Um, if civil war happens, legionnaires have more have more militia fighters. But how, how many is this? 14 is not bad. A blind eye to the legion. Formalized legionary position. I won't tighten the laws. The rowdy royal supporters are dangerous to the society. The government must enact stricter measures. 
uh, in terms of national security, suppress these little dissidents. A combination of politicians and intellectuals have formed the League for King Michael, an alliance that seeks to protect individuals from the Iron Guard violence and influence. While a group bears the king's name, it's unclear if the king actually has any connection with the group. Also, here are their uh, focuses. The remaining wolf. The remaining oil profits. Which is very nice. Political uncertainties. As well as Iron God Unrest. Ah, I love it. And supplies are so bad. I remember I played as Hungary, and I was pissed off completely. When we were trying to fight the Hung Romanian, Hungarian Romanian War. And I won as Hungary, but my god, was it god awful. It was terrible. But then again, maybe it's changed. Parliamentary influence, huh? Anti German military, US test another hydrogen bomb, just like the Germans test an atomic bomb. Good for them. And like Norwaj is like re giving a lot of research speed, encryption and decryption, because that literally helps out in combat. So that'll be good, good to get done. So we'll see what happens regarding. Well, I guess we already have 20. That's not bad. Could be better though. Arms to legionnaires. Government armies are now open for the legionnaires with one condition that, they, that these weapons shall be used against enemies of the state. Monarchist expansion. Forming political groups across the country, the monarchists will now seek to further expand their influence in all of Romania. They form, oh, well there we go, now we can do this. Form regional headquarters and now are organizing different actions to counteract Iron Guard influence, we'll counter them. Now we can do something here. We don't have enough command power. Fifteen percent, huh? Legionnaire recruitment propaganda. Well, the Iron Guard is already a massive organization. Additional recruitment propaganda campaigns will surely expand its ranks, turning these Iron Guard into a valuable fighting force in Romania. So, you can just increase it. I don't know. We probably want this right here, don't we? I, I you can't tell, can you? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if you can tell. Because I cannot. Um, I'm going to assume this area first. Just because this is like near a capital. So, and it has a hundred oil. That's a lot of oil. That's a crap ton of oil. That's, 13 is not bad, but 100 is a lot. Formalize legionnaire positions to ensure absolute loyalty from the legionnaires. Must formalize the Iron Guard's positions and associate with the Romanian government or a blind eye. They're loyal to us. While their actions may be described as brutal and relations between the two organizations will only prove that we simply turn a blind eye towards their operations. Yeah. Turning a blind eye towards them is no issue, probably. Hmm. Revolution. Just a casual blind eye, my friends. So after that, then what? Oh no, I, I, I've not tested this off screen. I, I have no idea what's going to happen, so. Maybe, oh. Someone's dying. The issue of Bennett. Armed forces, of course. I could probably read. Can you read about that one? Yeah. If we intend to exert a significant influence over our neighbors, we must build up our military to guard our hard power. The first step is to accomplish, to accomplish this is to assemble a military combination to review every aspect of our armed forces and assemble plans to improve our military capabilities. With these uh, commission's plans, we will be able to weigh the options and choose our path to military success. The mods will increase their presence in Brasserabi. We'll counter them. They unite. So be it. Maybe we should not have spent a lot of command power on those guys earlier. Well, god dang it. I don't know. Are we having a civil war or not? Just... If we are, can we just have it? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to wait any longer. Just, just let's go to war. But coffee's pretty good, though. Pretty good. And I'm trying to build up in Bucharest, so. Bowles reelected. Very cool. Oh, Germany, fall apart and see what happens. This guy's a character. What popular dictator, huh? That's one, definitely one way to put it. Oh no, chicken dance! And you're still over here, huh? Banat. I still need to play as Banat sometimes. He's got a happy face. Milan? Anta? He looks very aggressive. Like, mm, what are you doing? So now what? Is it just we just do this great game thing here? Organization 10. A uh, ruined economy. That sounds pretty darn Greek. Despite government. Seriously, bro. We don't get enough command power for this. We really don't. So hopefully something happens soon. Or there's not going to be very much here for Romania at all. Well, apparently, Mr. Schmittler is going to be going. Reliable sources within the Reich have informed us of Adolf Hitler's rapidly declining health. While the Germans are struggling to keep the information under lockdown, we know for a fact that Hitler is, of course, well, passing away. 
Soon that man and that poor son green remain into the state of the uneasy peace will perish, and it might be time to plan ahead for Romania's future. Our humiliation shall be reversed. Transylvania is, was, and always will be Tran Romanian. Not Southern Transylvania, not Transylvania minus Kessler's land. Transylvania. As in Togo, through our identities, Wallachia and Moldavia, perhaps even more so. Though the, uh, the map may speak a different truth, we are now finally prepared to correct it. We must begin our preparations immediately. Month of population? Why not? Our military must be in the best shape in all of Romanian history to secure victory in the coming conflict. The fight is more important than the destruction of Bolshevism. More important than when we first liberated Transylvania in the Great War. For now, we are fighting to reclaim what was once ours, instead of finally earning it by the right of bloodshed. We we'll train our soldiers to be crack troops and work in perfect harmony with each other, to execute orders as efficiently and effectively as possible, and most importantly, to guard the flanks and revanchist media campaigns. We've been wronged. This is there is an injustice in the world. Our brothers in the Hungarian lands must be liberated. Most do not even consider these statements to be propaganda, but instead mere factual truths. Still, of course, a healthy dose of propaganda couldn't hurt either. Our people must, must be prepared to fight, kill, and die for Transylvania. We will ensure that it is so. Got nine days left, and we just got to make sure that uh. We got enough truckies here, which we obviously do not, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully we can do well here. I mean, when I did this before, or when I played as, of course, Hungary, my god, was it terrible. But, maybe things have changed. So laggy, too. Cool, let's see what happens. So yeah, supplies knock right around here. Hopefully it won't matter too much. Ooh. Uh, as long as you're not attritioning. That's the worst thing that could happen, so. Spread out just a little bit more if you can. That should help uh, supplies just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. If we can move in here pretty quickly, of course, going up here would be really good, but I'm not going to send you guys to fight in the mountains. That'd be kind of suicidal. And Kusnanya. I don't know, just go to somewhere. Exercises on the border? Well, not the most subtle maneuvers. The Hungarians know that war is brewing as much as we do. Exercises on our shared board will not reveal our hand, but instead show our strength. The full might of the Romania is on display for all to see. To tremble in the fear of the mere sight of our tanks, cracked troops, and blazing fighters. We'll have acted, we will have acted out our invasion so many times that when the day finally comes to, to do it for real, it'll feel more like a memory. More influence there, whatever. Get a lot of that stuff there, too. War austerity trains, we could probably wait for that one. Uh, how's the industry doing? Doing okay? Military factories? Sure, why not? Because all I've been doing is just building up more civvies. So that's literally all I've been doing. Um, how strong are these guys? It's a lot of manpower. We got even more. We should have, hopefully, more divisions than them. I hope this is just not a god awful war. Please make sure it's not a god awful war. No, oh, Algeria's looking not too good now too either, but that's okay. Algeria can look really bad. And there's the course rush up here, hanging out. Um, sure, Transylvania, yeah. Why not? Why not? Right? Um, we repairing ships? Yeah, that's probably good to repair some ships. And there go the Jews. I see the Jews can do well. Yeah, we need so much stuff. It's not even funny. Tel Aviv. David Ben Gurion. Palestine. Oh. Huh. Jordan. The Arab Federal Republic. Wow. Is that supposed to happen? That seems kind of... Cool. I actually really like how it looks. I think it acts to the Mediterranean and the Arabian Sea, or whatever this is called. I forget what it's called. My bad. Um, Bukovina, no. Nah. Sarabia, Banat. Banat's a very integral part of Romania. Don't ever let anyone else uh, tell you otherwise. Wow, we got like... <laughs> the Romanian wolf. I'll look at that. Yeah, we're not looking too good for political power here. Mmm... Yeah, that's really bad. Our stability has been completely tanked. Ooh. I was wondering why we had so little st stability or political power, but whatever. Reverse the Vienna War, that'd be really nice. But 20 more days for this, not bad. Issue been out. We need one or two. It needs. Well, it only requires one of the following. Where's one of the following? We'll declare following the death of Adolf Hitler. Okay. So, Revanchist rallies. Mere media campaigns are not enough. The common man of Romania must see the injustice with their own eyes. See the brothers rally around them to fight for this cause. See the fire in their eyes of their fellow patriots. 
Surrounded by the comrades, they will come to realize that they are one they are but one small part of a larger Romanian people. A people who have been wronged and disgraced in the face of such a sight. There will be no pacifists, only call no calls for a moderation of peace, only cries for battle. Get a little bit more better penalties and more population, why not? And there goes Russia as well. Not shabby. That's looking so bad though. This is enough trains for now. For now. Um I guess I don't want to train the tanks too much. I don't think that'd be smart for now, because we just don't have anything. We got some support equipment, though, which is really nice, but... Not enough guns. Not too much else of anything here, too. And this should be done very soon, as well. As the world's slowly, slowly, slowly trying to fall apart, of course, as well. Who do we have here? Military staff. Actually. The more we zoom in, maybe the faster it'll go. Actually, we have what here? semi industrialized economy? Makes sense. Um, closer support. I like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, who do we have? Horia Masalariu. Alright. Corneliu Teodorini. Not bad. Better supply consumption, better defense. Truman's been inaugurated. And then we have Alexander Ioniliu. More organization recovery rate? Not shabby. I don't like this. We don't get never, never enough command power, too. It's not very good. Oh, day of the invocation. It's already been here. Holy crap. I don't think we got very much out of that one, so. Alrighty then. Happy 1953, everybody. Happy 1953. Exile the Dutch government. If you want to go with that, please go right ahead. Here we go again. And where do they end up? Nowhere? Sounds good, actually. Oh. Bukovina, huh? Good, good, good. And then, reverse the Vienna War. The time has come years ago when Germany became the sole power in Europe. They saw fit to redraw the map as they wish. Instead of opposing them, we threw in our lot with the new master of the continent. And what was our new, what was our war? Surrendering rightful Romanian clay to Hungary once again. At the time, we could not resist. We could not dare defy the will of Berlin. But perhaps now, we can defy the will of the Germany instead. Their influence wanes and the interest in the region falters. Nothing can save Hungary now. No one will come to their aid when the righteous fear of the dream of a greater Romania falls upon them like an avalanche. Now, the reverse wretched Vienna Ward. No, we reverse the wretched Vienna Ward. Now we declare war. Because you might as well. Also, I, did, I was training the planes. But now they're all parts of different groups, so. And we have no extra planes to just talk about. Indonesian victory. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're a public now. Ton. Chiang Kai-shek. Tibet. Kazakh military gang. Ukraine. When does Hitler die? Why is he not why is he not dying yet? What focus is he really doing? Stats of the Reich. No, that's still the the first tree, which does kind of suck. So you know what I guess we'll see. The moment arrives. It's finally time the Germans are distracted with the death of the precious daddy and hungries without protection. This is our moment of strike. Our humiliation shall be reversed. Well, well, I don't know about that. Maybe at this point, um, maybe we have to wait a few more days. We just totally. Oh look, he's dead. They have a cabinet crisis. Not bad. Not a bad thing to see at all. Uh oh. It looks like they are putting more soldiers on the border though, which is not good. So I guess the goal is go over here. Well, maybe you'll see me push him over the river and then push him all the way around here to the river hold the line around our part of Transylvania push him over here and try to break through to right there ish here's where the coast -ish is to a degree so that would be actually really nice if possible and then cut these guys off kill them all off have a good time normal stuff Unless they just attack our lines like crazy which I'm also down with you know that sounds like a lot of fun Cambodian liberals win at 53 huh no all right uh, we just don't have enough equipment. We need way more motorized guns, artillery, anti-tank. Yeah, we're going to push this way first. We have to. Push in. Push, push, push. You can try to encircle maybe a little bit here. Widen up the line and push north. Hotin, uh, we didn't get as much influence, which does suck, but... They, they said... Okay, is he dead now? Is he officially dead? They just had the thing. Following the death of some dude. Come on, man. I want to go to war. Our glorious victory. The great air has been corrected. The Magyars stand down and broken and defeated before us. 
Just as they were four decades ago, the people cheered in our streets, and the Romanian flag is waved everywhere you look. This is a glorious victory at last Transylvania's Romanian, or a head hung low. Sometimes, the best laid plans are not enough. Somehow, sometimes, the heart of each and every man, woman, and child in a nation beating as one is not enough. Sometimes, dreams of conquest and just revenge remain just that, dreams. As we send our soldiers back to the barracks, bitter and disillusioned, as we face the scorn of our people for failing them, as the disgusting lie of the Hungarian domination is only further accepted as truth in the world. We must accept the truth. Hungarian Transylvanian or Transylvania is Hungarian now. I don't know. We're taking so long with this. Is this supposed to be like this? It takes, it takes, it takes so long for this to actually happen. Oh, there we go. Uh, it just it. We had to wait for almost like. Oh wow! Holy crap! They're going like crazy at us. Let's not go crazy against them then. Go on in, guys. See what y'all can do. I don't want to lose too much. You can't collapse. How are they? Oh, no, 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 no. How are they winning here? How, 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 how? When I did this, it was almost impossible to play this. Quite literally almost impossible to win as uh, Romania. So, there's no way they should be able to easily win. Literally no way. Actually, if anything, y'all go right there and maybe if you try to throw this division first. No. Hold on, everything else. Hold on, hold on. And then after that, let's go with Romanian land armed forces. The most important part of our armed forces is the Romanian land forces, which constitute the most people and equipment of all the four armed forces. If we intend to effectively win a war, we'll have to look to our past and discover the future of land warfare. Our commission will begin to thoroughly look over combat reports, war diaries, and logistical records to see what can be done. The most important part of our armed forces is the Romanian land forces, which constitute the most people and equipment of the armed forces. If we intend to effectively win a war, we'll have to look to our past and discover the future of land warfare. Our commission will begin to thoroughly look over combat reports, war diaries, and logistical records to see what can be done. Yeah, uh, don't worry about going that way. Don't worry about attacking for now, too. I hope there's not a timer for this. I hope to God that there's not a timer for this. Go in. Go in. Go in. Push in. Push him over the river. Or, yeah, just keep him on that side. That's the most important thing right now. Win up out? That's fine, too. You should easily be able to win. There we go. That's good. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, honestly, do we really need extra manpower? Because we get manpower for everything as well. Uh, ground, uh, ground operation, strategic theorem. I'll just go with strategic theorem just in case. Seems pretty beneficial to me. Cool. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. God dang it, get out. You better not encircle us, you pieces of doo-doo. There's no way you're going to lose here. Well, man, my god, is it laggy. Alright, so that's the case. We're going to cut you down, too. Just so we can get just slightly more equipment in the field. Serving Civil War, alright. Screw it. You want to attack? So be it. We'll attack, too. I want to encircle them, but there's just no way we can. I mean, with us being pinned down by losers over here, which they shouldn't be able to do that much damage, in all honesty. Still. Now you're over here? This is a doo doo. This is Bosnia. Good. Good. Go. Just make a mad dash for it. Oh, we got another infantry out division out, which is very good as well. What they don't want to they don't want to attack me, especially when they're starving for supplies? What? Come on, you had more than enough time already. You're not gonna be able to make it. That's stupid. All right, we'll go there then. God damn it. You know what? I hate this so much sometimes. Here we go. Do that. Nope.
good. That'll be good. Right there, delete that militia division. So do anything spare. We have support equipment. If we throw anything on this division, which is not a terrible template. No, I agree wrong, it's not terrible. We just have nothing. We just have literally nothing here. No. You're not leaving. I swear to God, you will not leave here. Albania is killing itself. Cool. Good. Go into. You're gonna force the attack because we want we need these guys dead immediately. Um, air wise, I guess battlefield support. I suppose. I guess we got green air for now. That's nice. Oh, they're attacking us too. That's not good. It's fine right there. Not let them move. They threw another division in there. Are you kidding me, man? That's so stupid. Oh my god. You know, just at the time of this recording, like, whenever I do my Hoi 4 campaigns, I just can't seem to catch a break. Bro, I literally say, help attack, and you, you're refusing orders. Alright, well, you really want to push them in that way, that's fine, whatever. Losses, 2,000 versus 50,000. Um, occupation forces. Why, why would we use this template? Why would we use motorized for this? Because everything else sucks. Um, 3, 2, 1, 1. Honestly, you're cheaper, probably. Probably not, I don't know, we'll see. I guess we won there, that's nice. It was good to win, but still. If anything, we'll probably attack one of these militia divisions. That'll be good. Get up there, and we'll have a plenty of support up there, too. Supplies down here really bad. Oh, actually. Oh, if we... Oh, we were to get this tile. That'd be actually extremely good. But attacking... I guess we're going for Cluj. All right, then. Good choice. Force the attack. Win or die. I mean, I love supply hubs, don't get me wrong. I love supply hubs. Please give me them, because we could honestly literally use them right now. Come on, do it, and they will be completely cut off. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Come on, they're just goddamn militia. Look off, nice. Go in, too. Go sitch. Should easily be able to win. Easily. And then... Legacy of Barbarossa. An important action for us to undertake is to review how the land force performed in the past, in the context of invading the Soviet Union. When the most serious victories were achieved by the Germans, we must also look into how well our forces fared and why. We must do what we can to maximize our victories from Barbarossa and minimize our weaknesses. No, 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 no. How the heck would we ever lose here? That is complete stray garbage. Alright, do that then. Go around him. This is complete crap. Are you kidding me? All right, leave. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Of course they would do that. Of course. So now, you're going to hold. You're actually going to go right there. You're going to force the attack. Okay, the, the AI does not like to listen. I, I'm t constantly telling it to not attack that direction. I kept pressing H to hold. And yet it still chooses to kill itself off. I swear, Hoi 4 has gotten extremely laggy. Extraordinarily laggy. Come on, go in. Go, oh, oh, the fat man. Yeah, since you're attacking anyways, you might as well. We're going to kill off that division because the AI wants it to, to die. So be it. So be it. Mm. Well, now they're cut off, which is good. Here, come off. There we go. Fleet stuff. Not super important right now. Um, they should have literally no supply here. They've been completely cut off, right? So... They have like a few points right there, but still. Coronation. Yeah, go in there. Taking amounts is probably a really bad idea, but you might still be able to do it, maybe. Maybe. Don't be dumb. Stop attacking, you ding-dongs. That'd be good. Getting cursed would be extremely important as well. Um, no. You're not leaving. Oh, what is this? 
Ace pilot promoted, very good, very, very good. Good job, Ace pilot. Go, both go here. Got the division off. I'd rather encircle and destroy these guys. I want to go there. Coost, coost, coost. Start weakening them there as well. That'll be nice. You guys do that real quick. Deal with those guys. Attacking them out is probably a really bad idea. But when they have no supply, it could be a lot worse, I guess. Good. Well, it's, finally this war is picking up a little bit be better for us. I don't throw a river and it's really bad, but still. Don't let it move. With the grand victory and a stunning display of Romania's superiority, we've crushed the puny Hungarian army and regained Transylvania. Now that I was left is to enforce a peace treaty on Hungary, potentially depriving them of more than just Transylvania. Who cares about the rest? DMZ's Hungary must be punished. Huh. Demilitarized zones? Punish them. I want to take them all out. Why can't we take them all out? Maybe we'll have that later on. Because I think Hungary needs to get really pissed off, and we just go ahead and just like demolish them. They remain defiant. Oh, Hungarians have continued to remain stubborn fools and refuse a kind of peace offer. They shall pay. Cool. There's no way you're going to win this war, Hungary. By the blood of all the Hungarians here, you're going to die. And you're going to die because of us. <laughs> yeah, this will work out very well. I'm not going great down here, but whatever. Go here. Nice. You should easily be able to win your... Ooh, cool, Italy. Look at that. Nice. Good. Good. Not good down here, but whatever. So what happened to that potential, uh... Civil War that we were supposed to have? Good. Kill them all off. 100,000 losses is nothing. I want them all dead. They have eight divisions left. There's no way they can stand up to us now. They've lost a lot of motorized, though. What is in the motorized division, actually? Cavalry brigades. That's actually not terrible. I can see why we use them as garrisons, actually, now. But still. But this is good for experience. Yeah. Let's see. Happy 53 still. Extraction, yes. Uh, okay. Oh, get more research speed, too. That's, that's always good. Always good to get more research speed. A little bit of lag? Did someone capitulate or something? No? Ooh, I see a, a spinning blue mouse wheel. Oh! Ah! They had a... That's a plenty of map. I think I divisions left. Half of them were just militias, though. They had infantry equipment, as they should. And the German Civil War started. Not bad. So I'm gonna play some of these German Civil War contenders, though. Should be fun. And Britain's victorious. Good job, Britain. Anything here? Not really. Might need more command power after this war is over too, so we'll see. Budapest? Yeah, no, Budapest is ours. No, you're going to force the attack. These Hungarians wanted to live. Yeah, they, they thought wrong. You can force defense all you like, son. Oh, we don't have enough command power for that. Dang it. Doesn't matter to me. We force attack, they force defense. That just means there's going to be a lot of dead bodies. Oh, look at that. I love it. Thank you. Fall of Budapest. Predicted the moment they refuse their generous offer of peace. Budapest has fallen. We can have our way with Hungary. Our own state that should become. They should be ruled a personal union. Ooh. Treat of focus. Genetic focus tree. Completes our glorious victory. Greater Romania. Our rump state. Look at your political power. That's one we still get to put a power. Add tyrannical foreigner. Give the King of Romania the research rights. That sounds like fun. I, mean, I wanted to kill more off, but hey, not bad. Maybe the other one's better. I can't tell. Maybe I may have killed too many of our own guys. I probably did, honestly. I probably did. Um, 
Oh, actually, we're still, ooh, we're still losing political power every single day, so we might as well spend it now that we have it. Oh, look at all this stuff. Well, since we're here, well, actually, we need to re Transylvania. Um, or we wait six days and get one more political power. Let's wait just a little bit and expand what we're going to build next. Oh, uh, through hardship and much struggle, the dictatorship has successfully demonstrated itself as a proper governor of Romania. So we're going to read this one next. Though we have ended a Hungarian tyranny over Transylvania at last, their influence still stains the region with the corrupted filth as such. We must begin to remove such chain as possible. We will integrate the region into not just our own administration, but not a country as a whole, but also into the very Romanian identity, to the point where Hungarian overlordship will become nothing more than a childish fantasy. Nice. Oh, uh, the total figure of Hungary, the issue of southern Slovakia has come up. We could try to simply allow the Hungarians to keep it. It would be most wise to return to Slovakia, securing its future ally. But in all honesty, they're our puppet. They could get, become an ally, though. Ooh, if they become an ally of Slovakia, ooh, we could get Slovakia with us? That can make us pretty pretty strong, fairly strong. You know? Maybe we could try it. Maybe we could try it. Securing so secure ally? Well, let's try that. We had a Carpathian Ruthenia. After we try to, of course, reintegrate this area, too. With the total defeat of Hungary, the issue Carpathian Ruthenia has come up. We could, well, we could simply allow Hungary to keep it. We could also ignore the piece of land, or we could grant them independence under the watchful eye of a glorious king, securing us an ally. Let Hungary keep it. Uh, I don't want Hungary to be that strong. That's going to look really ugly. Okay, screw it. I, don't, I mean, I really don't care about it at all, but like... Hope he likes us. Culture, debt to the Germans, German influence, runs to Czechoslovakia, and they have no unique focus here. But hey, more puppets. Actually, doesn't puppets give us like factories? So that's actually not terrible. And without, oh wait, so we're not even doing a focus. We still lose stuff. Well, crap. All right, well then, what is industrial speed? I want that construction speed. I'll be honest. I just want that construction speed. So there you go. Do that too. And there you go too. Motorized, planes, APCs, tanks, really good stuff to get. Of course, as we all know, we do that. Not bad. So what happens after we reintegrate? Like, do we have the, so the Civil War? Handling our ally. Consolidation of power. A convenient car crash. Well, I guess handling our ally. Our political allies have become nothing but a liability at this point. They must be handled before our plans can move forward. You know, I'm glad we won. I'm glad we won. It sounds like a lot of fun. But, you know what? I think I might just end here. We are successful. We've done really well. And hopefully we can grab more allies all over the place. And, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll go to war with someone else in the next episode. But, hey, if you enjoyed the, the somewhat shorter video than I normally produce, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also figure out what else is going to happen in this very weird Thousand Week Reich world. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.